Okay, we're still recording. We're still recording there. Uh, we're going to record here. That's good. That's there. All right. Hey, guys. What's up? We are... I'm here. You guys are watching another one of my videos. Another one of my videos uh, talking about my first time doing portraiture. Doing some portrait portrait work. Portrait? Portrait in a pear tree? This past weekend, I think I told you guys in the last video, last week's video, that I was gonna, that I had a portrait, some photos to take. She's a friend, a friend of mine. I took some senior portraits for her, and, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say things that I learned, things that I didn't. What? I can't say what I didn't learn because that's just weird. First of all, what I wanted to say is that this is technically my second time doing portrait work. My first time doing portrait was more corporate headshots for a church, for my church. And something that I learned with that is that I have a 24 to 70 right now on my 5D that I'm recording with. That's what I do. That's the only really L-series lens that I have. And I found that I needed something longer because I was getting real close into some of the people's faces. And I could, I could see like, I'd be at 70 millimeters and I was like, okay, I just wanna get a little closer. I get in a little closer and they're like, mm, what, why are you getting so close? Going into this job that I wanted to get a longer lens than that. Uh, did a little did a little bit of research and decided to go with, let me take this little hood off. Can you guys see this? Can you guys see my phone? Probably. I use my phone as a monitor. You probably, probably know that by now. I went with the 7200 um, version three from Canon. Huge game changer with being able to get close to the model without being close to the model. I wanted to get this lens not only based off what I learned from the quick corporate photo shoot, but also because it was my first time doing portraiture and my friend's first time doing portraits. So I didn't want to be like, you know, be like this close to her taking photos and stuff. Um, I wanted her to be comfortable. I wanted to be comfortable. So I thought I'd to spend the extra money, both of us being comfortable. And that's what I did, and it was huge, huge game changer. I can't say that I ever was at 200 mil. I have to go through the photos, but I think most of them were like 100 to 150, maybe. Uh, there were a few times that I would be at 200, but not a whole, not a whole lot. But yeah, the, the zooming capability, cap Capabilities, capabilities. What am I trying to say? Capabilities. There we go. Um, of this lens was very nice. If you're if you're doing portraits for the first time, I highly suggest getting a zoom lens so you don't have to be all up in the model's face to get close tight shots. I rented mine from Lens Pro to Go for about a hundred bucks for five days. No, four days. Um, it doesn't have to be Lens Pro to Go. Lens Pro to Go is nice. Now there are a few shots that I used my 24 to 70 on. I had the 24 to 70 on my 60D, and maybe I'll put those on the screen here. My biggest concerns for this thing, for, for this shoot, was posing. We're posing. I feel like I'm not the greatest at telling the model how to pose, or where to put their arms, or where to look, or where to do that. So I was, felt like I was kind of winging it, but it was also like her mom was there. So she'd be like talking to her mom and like do something. I'm like, oh, that was good. Do that. Stay, stay like that. Um, there was also a few other photographers on the location and I kind of took some of their ideas. I think it helped that I know her. So it wasn't, there wasn't any, any tension, any tension there. I think the more communication that you can give to your model, the better telling them where to sit, where to stand, where to look, where to put their hands, where to put their arms, what to do with what, how to look, because when I gave her instructions, that's when I think the photos really turned out. I mean, like they weren't gonna turn out but so bad because you know, she's beautiful, so. Yeah, I feel like she did most of the heavy lifting in this photo shoot than me. Um, so that's what I learned. I was a little nervous, but I think it turned out well. Let me not, let me guys know that you're here. Woo, okay. I think it turned out well. Let me let you. Why can't I say this? I think it turned out well. Let me got. Let you. Okay. I think it turned out well. Let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out well. Let me guys. Let me know. Let. I think it turned out well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one of these is your favorite? 
I feel like I'm gonna be putting some on the screen as I go. Yeah, I feel like I've been rambling. I've been going on for about 13 minutes. This is just fantastic, Evan. You got a lot to edit with this video. Something that I like to do is that I wanna, as I do this more, I wanna incorporate something with the person that's unique to them. So like this girl, she texts a lot. So I gave her my phone and took this photo. So like little things like that. Like if she, I did tell her to bring a book, but she forgot. She's a reader as well. Um, so I'm just little things like that I wanna do as I continue with taking portraits for people. If you're not an outgoing person, I think just try to talk as much as you can when you're directing people. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes when it's like not somebody that I know. Is this shadow weird? This, like, I don't even know what that's from. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys were able to learn something. And I just wanted to share my experience of doing portraits for the first time. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Then turn on the post notification button so you guys will be notified every time that I upload something. Okay? Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video, in next week's, in next week's video. Or just in the next video whenever that is. Okay? I don't have an outro. I'll probably play, you know what I'll probably do? I'll probably play the beginning stuff as I was waiting for the computer to turn on. Now, bam. I think I'm gonna hit record on you. Not sure if I'll move that. I think I'll keep that there. I think we're good. I'll take these off because this is the first video I'm gonna have with no, with no glasses, huh? Cause you know why? Freaking glasses for losers. I should probably turn this on. I thought that was funny. I was getting ready to tap my screen. Okay, we're still recording. We're still recording there.